Hello students, welcome to my next online class. So here I am with a new chapter that is current electricity and I hope you have written all the exercise questions in your exercise book of last chapter sound. If you have, haven't completed yet, do complete it very soon. Right? So make your copy up to date. So without wasting any time, let's start our today's class. Current electricity. So what is electric current? In class 9 we have learned the rate of flow of charge is said to be as electric current. That means whenever there is flow of charge, there is a production of current. Like wherever there is a vibration, there is a production of sound. Similarly, wherever there is a flow of charge, there is production of electric current. Now you see, the rate of flow of charge per unit time is considered to be as electric current. Now when I, said to, when I ask what is 1 ampere? That means ampere is the unit of current. Now when I say state 1 ampere, that means a current is said to be is 1 ampere when 1 coulomb of charge passes through a cross section of a conductor in 1 second. Right? When time is 1 second and 1 coulomb, coulomb is the unit of charge. So when 1 coulomb of charge is passing through 1 second through a cross sectional area of a conductor, then we say that 1 ampere current has been passed right so this was 1 ampere that is equals to 1 ampere okay now you see there is a cross sectional area of a conductor now that cross sectional area of a conductor might have n number of electrons so how many electrons is being passed that is what is the total charge contained in that conductor then we can say the total charge contained in the conductor is given by q equals to n e where n is the number of electrons and e is the charge of a single electron that one we know that value is e equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right now as it, is, as it is an electron so we can place a negative sign or just for the numericals you can consider the positive quantity only right so charge of an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay so what is the total current passing through that conductor? That is I equals to Q by T. In place of Q, we are substituting this NE. NE by T. So, Q equals to NE. This is also called quantization of charge. Right? I repeat, quantization of charge. In class 9, we have learned total charge enclosed in a conductor is equals to integral multiple of basic unit of charge. Integral multiple of basic unit of charge means, you see, if I consider there are 5 pencils right the cost of one pencil is three rupees so definitely the cost of five pencil will be three into five that is 15 rupees now when i say the number of pencil is infinite infinite means that is we cannot count here let us consider the n number of pencils are there then what will be the total price that is 3n right similarly you see electrons charge is fixed now here in this case number is not fixed so therefore we say that total charge enclosed in that conductor is equals to Q equals to NE. This is also called quantization of charge. Okay. Do not forget they might ask separately what is quantization of charge. So quantization of charge is, uh, means here total charge enclosed in a body is equals to integral multiple of basic unit of charge. That means Q equals to NE. Okay. Also what do you mean by conservation of charge? Charges cannot be created nor be destroyed. It gets transferred from one body to another. Right? Charges get transferred here. Like you see, energy is changing form from one form to another. Similarly, the charges is getting transferred from one body to another. But you see, total number of charges remains same. For example, there is a glass rod. And glass rod when you rub in your hair, the glass rod develops positive charge. Similarly, your hair develops negative charge. If I consider there are 5 positive charges has been developed in your glass rod. What does this mean? This means that 5 electrons from the conductor has moved to your hair. That means equal and opposite charge got transferred. Right? So this was conservation of charge and this is quantization of charge. Okay? Now we will come across the units there are different sub units and multiple units of current like sub units when i say that is 1 milli ampere equals to 10 to the power minus 3 ampere 
1 micro ampere equals to 10 to the power minus 6 ampere ok so these are the values which we will be using in numericals now when I am talking about electric current current flows from higher potential to lower potential always when I say current flows that means charges flows from a higher potential to lower potential now if the both the potentials are same suppose A and B two potentials are there two terminals are there so current is moving from A to B this indicates that terminal A is at higher potential and terminal B is at lower potential now when we say that higher potential and lower potential you see if anybody has excess of electrons in it then we say it is at lower potential now anybody which has excess of or deficiency of electrons that is excess of positive ions or positive charge will consider to be as higher potential right so charges from flows from higher potential to lower potential and its direction is opposite to the flow of electrons right so higher potential to lower potential when charges is flowing its direction is opposite to the flow of electrons therefore we say that if both the points both the bodies are having at same potential will there will be any flow of current no there won't be any flow of current because we know it is just analogous to heat if both the bodies are at same temperature heat will not flow similarly if both the bodies are at different potential then only the current will flow from a body having higher potential to a body having lower potential right so this was the concept of potential so what is potential actually so it is an electrical state of a conductor which determines the flow of charge okay i repeat potential is an electrical state of a conductor which determines the flow of charge from one body to the another okay now in the other case if i say what is potential difference then potential difference you see there are two terminals are there suppose from one terminal to other terminal the current is flowing just now i said you see the current flows from a potential having higher potential to a body having lower potential that means there is a difference in potential between the two terminals so that potential difference is defined as the amount of work done in transferring a unit positive charge from one point to the other or you can say electric potential or potential difference is defined as the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to a given point right so this was potential difference the notes which I have written in board this one you need to write in your exercise book so on the screen you can see I have written the definition of potential it is the electrical state of conductors which determines the direction of flow of charge when two conductors are connected by a metallic wire so when two conductors are connected by a metallic wire provided that one conductor is at having higher potential and one conductor is at lower potential so current will flow from a body having higher potential to a body having lower potential and direction of electric current is opposite to the flow of electrons right here is the deficient of electrons and excess of electrons and here it is deficient of electrons so current is flowing from higher to lower now when i say you see this two substances or two body are connected with the metallic wire now if i need to find the potential at a given point so where there is difference in potential in between the way there are many potentials there are many between many points between two bodies now if we need to find a potential at a given point what is the potential of a body at this resistance and that resistance is between many other resistances right so we, in that case in we have to find the potential at a given point so potential at a given point is defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to that point that means at that point what will be the potential is here the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to a given point okay where you want to find the potential so that is defined as potential at a given point whose formula is w equals to qb or potential electric potential equals to w by q now as a unit of potential is here volt now if i say state one volt then you say when one joule of work is done in transferring one coulomb of charge from infinity to a given point 
the potential is said to be as one volt right so these are the definitions few definitions you have to analyze and you have to write by yourself now when i say this is one body now let us remove these charges okay so this is terminal a and this is terminal b okay we don't say this is higher or lower potential and the current of flow of current is also determined here now when i say with the other two body that is a and b okay so when i say a and b here so what is the potential difference between a and b now if we need to find here potential difference between two terminals here this is one terminal and this is the other terminal one terminal is a and another terminal is b now if we need to find the potential difference between these two terminals then we have to find the work done that means amount of work done in transferring a unit positive charge from one terminal to another terminal okay this is the potential difference so when two terminals we know and we need to find the potential difference here so we have to calculate the work done in transferring a unit positive charge from one terminal to another so this is the concept of potential difference now just now we have seen the formula v was equals to w by q right so v equals to w by q so w means here work done and q is the charge when one joule of energy is being compensated on transferring a one coulomb of charge that means one joule of work is being done to transfer a one coulomb of charge from one terminal to another and we say to be as potential difference as to be as one volt okay so this was in case of potential difference and that is the potential at a given point so opposition to the flow of electric current is considered to be as a resistance so whenever any electric current tries to pass through any conductor so there is an opposition that means the current cannot pass freely through that conductor so we say that there is a resistance in that conductor okay so this resistance now question arises how this resistance produced or how this resistance is created in any conductor okay let's see with an example i have considered here two metal wire okay this metal wire it is in unbiased condition that means i have not connected any battery here any source external source when i have not connected here it is in unbiased condition and electrons and positive ions they move randomly in all direction that means they are in brownian motion right so they are moving here and there they don't have a fixed direction but as soon as when i connect to a, a battery or an external source we see that electrons gets drifted towards the positive terminal that means electrons gets passed towards the positive terminal that is called drift right so electrons get drifted towards the positive terminals and positive ions get drifted towards the negative terminal in this process what happens when electrons tries to move towards the positive terminal it gets collide with each other that means electron gets collide with equal electrons and these electrons gets collide with the positive ions so on on collision the speed of electrons get decreases so due to this decrease in speed in electrons there is a decrease in energy that is a kinetic energy of that electrons right this generates the resistance so therefore there is an obstruction to the flow of electrons towards the positive terminal and this create a resistance in that conductor okay so due to collision of electrons with electrons on obstruction to the positive ions when they collide with the positive ions their speed gets reduced and due to it de decrease in speed their kinetic energy get reduced and therefore there is obstruction to the flow of charge that is electric current okay therefore this is how this resistance is produced the si unit of resistance is ohm ohm we say ohm or the si unit is written just like as this that is this is also considered to be as ohm so there are few factors upon which this resistance depends you see the resistance of any conductor depends upon
on the length that means resistance is directly proportional to length if the length of the conductor is more then the resistance will be more resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section that means if the wire is very thin that means the resistance will be more therefore wire if it is very thick then resistance will be less therefore for the transmission lines which we take from the nearby electric poles we take a thick wire thick wire means here area of cross section is more therefore resistance will be less therefore the electric current will be more we will get the more electric current right so that means r is inversely proportional to a a is the area of cross section and l is the length of the conductor this resistance also it depends upon the temperature right if more is the temperature that means the resistance of wire gets increased therefore similarly if there is a decrease in temperature then resistance will decrease this concept has given a rise for the superconductors okay so superconductor or the superconductivity is the condition at which the resistance of a substance or the resistance of the conductor is said to be nearly to be, to be as zero so when the resistance is said to be as zero then the electrical conductivity will definitely it will increase so it forms a superconductor okay so you see just that's for we give different knowledge so that will be we will have in next class or sometimes they ask in this board exams also so what are superconductors so generally the superconductors are used in this computers and many there are many applications of here that one will come on later on right so resistance depends upon length resistance depends upon area of cross section resistance depends upon temperature it also depends upon temperature and also it depends upon the nature of the material that means it depends upon nature of material okay now including these two r this can be written as l by a right so r this can be written as rho l by a where rho is called resistivity okay so resistivity of any wire is equals to a resistance when the length of a wire is 1 meter and area of cross section is 1 meter square okay so this is how we define the resistivity so this resistivity depends upon the nature of the conductor or you see it does not depend upon the shape and size of the wire okay so this resistivity is independent to the shape and size of the wire So these are the factors affecting the resistance of the wire. That is first nature of the material of the conductor. Okay. Same. Next we have length of the wire, and we have area of cross section. That means thickness of the wire. So this resistivity note also you will be writing in your copy, and therefore the resistance also depends upon the temperature. Increase in temperature. That is rise in temperature increases the electrical resistance so this is the formula r equals to rho l by a or rho equals to r a by l just we have cross multiplied right so you see rho equals to r that means resistivity of a wire equals to resistance when one meet one length of a conductor is one meter and area of cross section is one meter square and the unit of resistivity is ohm meter so this difference is you need to write in your exercise book that is resistance and resistivity what is the main difference between resistance and resistivity resistance is the obst obstruction offered to the flow of current by the material of a conductor and resistivity is the property of the conductor due to which it offers resistance to the flow of electric current passing through it it is measured by the potential difference required across the ends of a conductor to the flow of 1 ampere current through it and resistivity it is measured by the resistance offered by 1 meter of length of a wire at a material of area of cross section 1 meter square okay so this differences you will be going through so you see units are also changed as a unit of resistivity is ohm meter whereas resistance is only ohm conductivity you see reciprocal of resistivity is said to be as conductivity it is abbreviated by the symbol you see sigma this is the symbol of conductivity here it is also called sigma the its si unit is 
per ohm per meter or it is called semen semen meter right do not forget this one so this is very important right sometimes they come what is conductivity and what is resistivity what is conductance so more or less they are all symptoms so for this video only this much in the next class we will going through the ohms law that is ohmic substances and non ohmic substances till then you will be writing this note in your exercise book and uh, you prepare the previous exercise questions also right note down in your exercise book so till then